they got to to know me and um and but the thing is i had i you know i there were other guys that auditioned like it wasn't like oh yeah. i'm precast i'm a yeah. shoe in you had to audition just it, like it everybody else yeah there was i had audition and there was there was competition there was people that they were cons- you know kind of considering so i i like how yeah. how i i did get it that way too that i you know <laughs> it was proper you know um but yeah so now i'm I'm fulfilled. You There's know. no other roles I'm you'd content. like to play. There's no other roles. Well, no, no. Well, as, well, as Rooster, I can close close the book. That book. You know, I can close. You know, I can close that book. Um, it, it stinks. I I'm. I feel like I'm maybe getting old for <laughs> Joseph and Joseph's amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. But at the same time, in a lot of professional productions I've seen, the guys have been you know semi. So my older than I am now, hmm. and you know, so I guess again, it just it maybe depends on who's who's directing it. Um, but no, I would love to be Joseph, hmm. or if there was a, or was a theater that kind of goes back to the roots of the show, where the narrator was originally a guy in like the original like uh, concept albums, and then there was like a, a BBC. There was like this like nineteen seventy three BBC televised production, and the narrator was a guy. Um, oh. So yeah, I mean, if there was a if there was a theater that even went back to the roots of it and would cast a guy as the narrator, then I would love to be the narrator. Um, but most theaters don't do that, so I'm like, well, mm-hmm. I would love to be Joseph. Mm-hmm. Um, because of my love for the sound of music, when I'm older, I would like to be Captain Von Trapp. Mm. Mm. I would love, I would love to be able to sing Edelweiss mm. in the in the context of the show. Yeah, you know, as the character. Um, wow. That that is one of one of my my dream roles. Because um, again, I love I love Edelweiss, um, but also in the musical, he's involved in the stage version. He's he is involved with other songs that mm. aren't in the movie. Um, and they're, they're a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I would love to be Captain Von Trapp. Um, Bert, Bert and Mary Poppins. <sighs> yes. Um, Willy Wonka. Mm. I, I want to be Willy Wonka. Mm. And I already have the costume. <laughs> yes, he does, folks. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you yeah, know, Willy Wonka. Um, mm any of the three possible dads in Mamma Mia. Mm. Yeah, I, lo- yes. I love Mamma Mia. Um, but yeah, any of, any of the three, <laughs> three possible dads. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really have too awful many. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a good there, list. There, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good list. And, um, there's other roles that if they if they happen like maybe the the MC in Cabaret because I played Cliff in Cabaret, mm. um, but I always kind of wanted to be the MC because mm. again more dark something more dark. Yeah. Um, so I mean if if that happens that's that'll be amazing. If it doesn't, I, I'm okay. Again, it's not really like a dream, a dream role. Um, but yeah, there's just then there's there's just shows that that come along that I end up you know doing my research about and liking it and be like okay i want to i'll do it you know um like stage west had done ragtime i didn't really know anything about ragtime but they're like well we know it's a musical we need guys like all right so i did did my homework and did my research and i ended up liking it so i'm like yeah this is a show that i'll i'd like to do um and it's so there have been plenty of shows like that where i didn't really know anything about them but when I did the homework, you know, I ended up liking it and then enjoying it when I got in, you know. Well, I know you go to see lots of lots of shows. Uh, what are some of your favorite shows you've seen on the stage? Musical? Um, yes. Um, it's very cliche, but Wicked. Mm. Wicked. I would see Wicked every time I came into town. Mm. Same with Mamma Mia. I would see Mamma Mia every time I came to town. Um, but I just it, the touring production is it hasn't really been gone on for maybe about a year year or two. It closed on Broadway and then the tour kind of stopped as well. Um, but there was a production in, in St. Pete that I just I just saw and it was just so much fun. Um, 
Oh my gosh, yeah, because I, I see not so much, you know, these days because of money or, t- or time, but yeah, I used to go see tons of shows of the Straz. Um, you know, Phantom of the Opera, um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, you know, Lion King, and, and just huge, you know, Hairspray. Um, again, Zoosef and Amazing Dreamcoat. Um, but yeah, I would see, see a, I would see a lot at the Straz, and then um, I would see some stuff at Ruth Eckert Hall. Um, I just like I just saw Legally Blonde at Ruth Eckert Hall, and then right mm. before that, I saw The Sound of Music because actually, a friend of mine that I did a sh- that I did shows with at Tarpon, she was actually in the touring production wow. of, of Sound of Sound of Music because she'd went up to Boston Conservatory, wow. and then you know got kind of her foot the door of some companies so when i found out that her tour was coming to ruth eckert i'm like well i have to see it mm. um yeah I, I go see you know sometimes shows at you know show palace and then if if i'm not in a show at you know like the local theaters i go and see them and, and support support everyone that's right we just saw noises off a few months ago that's, that's right that was great. that's right <laughs> hilarious that was that was such <laughs> That was a good show. I was so impressed, like, by their set. I was just <laughs> blown away. And the, but, yeah, the cast was just... And, and me, I'm not trying to, sound, trying to sound biased because I know most of them. It just... It works. When it works, it works. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> what are your, some of your biggest influences? I mean, growing up, I knew... Again, I didn't know that I was really into acting... But there was something about Tim Curry's acting mm. that I loved. There was something about Gene Wilder's acting mm. that I loved. There was just there was these actors that really stood out, and I loved. I just loved their acting, um, and just the various types of characters. Um, I guess I was more into like the more the comedic character actors or the funny or the comedic, comedic ones. Um, I would watch, you know, I would watch like the old, um, as far as comedies, yeah, I would watch like, you know, Saturday Night Live or Second City TV um, growing up. And, you know, I, I just thought, you know, they were funny. Um, but as far as like, you know, like film acting, I, I, I would say, you know, Tim Curry, Jim Wilder. I grew up watching a lot of British you know British comedies too, and I loved the, the you know the British you know British comedies. So there's some some people like Rowan Atkinson that mm. uh, that I just thought was funny, and um, but uh, so as far as you know comedic the comedic aspect goes, um, those are some good ones. <laughs> yeah, those are those are some some good ones. I mean, in my in my as far as you know, family members go, it kind of, there was little things that I learned about, you know, family members that, you know, that, that were around. Um, like, like my mom, she had said that like her dad was into like the visual arts, like Mm. he had done artwork in college and, um, and he had, he had died before I was born, so I never mm. really, so I, ne- I never met him. Um, but it was cool knowing that he was into like the visual arts. Um, my dad, he he knows how to play like guitar, and he was you know he was a roadie for this group that was out in California when we were out in uh, California at the time. Um, so he's he so he's you know musically inclined. Um, and I think it's safe as to far s- as safe to say they're very supportive of you. Oh, absolutely! And my my great grandmother, she um, she played the ukulele in like different vaudeville acts, and was in different different cities, you know, in, in like the nineteen twenties. You know, yeah. she was just part of like the whole nineteen twenties vaudeville scene. Um, so yeah, all of that. In, inspires me too um, because it's, it's on a personal level. Just knowing that you know I, you know I have, um, and my mom, you know, she would sing in the church choir, you know, when I was growing up. Um, so yeah, so knowing that, you know, I have family members that, you know, 
were interested in some aspect mm -hmm. of kind of the arts, you know, whether it's singing or singing and playing an instrument or, or mm. maybe your visual arts. Um, and knowing that I, I guess I kind of just, you know, got these genes compiled <laughs> up. You know? Maybe it was destiny that it was going to happen. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know? mm. And again, for the longest time, you know, didn't really, didn't really hone in on any of that and didn't really know. I was just this shy, mm. introverted, you know, picked on kid, you know, <laughs> and just, uh, but, uh, but no, it's, 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 it's very surreal and humbling and this, you know, God given and magical and, and, um, but yeah, it's all, it's all just great. You know, even this, you know, just, you know, talking with you right now, you oh. know, I mean, it's, it's just awesome. Yeah, I'm so know? glad we get to share your story <laughs> with everybody because there's stuff I've never known about you. I'd never know how Keith became Keith. <laughs> mm -hmm. So any other creative uh, aspects to you that we don't know about? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, some photography. Mm -hmm. um, not, not anything major. Um, it's, I, I like if I'm out somewhere, um, like on vacation and I see something that just to me looks beautiful and I try to get like the right lighting, the right angle. Mm. Um, and I just, you know, take the picture. Um, I've taken a lot of, I think, you know, awesome stuff in my opinion. Um, and then, um, so photography, um, I like to sculpt. Um, just, I also like to do like little, um, you know, I, I, I try to do like recreations of like, uh, like different props or whatever from different, from different movies. Mm. And, and if, if somebody else enjoys that, then I'm like, okay, I can, you know, sell this to you or something. Um, but I like, I like making weird and bizarre sculptures. Mm -hmm. Um, and my style is very Tim Burton. Oh. My style is very my style is very Tim Burton. When I was little and I watched Beetlejuice, mm. I actually felt I fell in love with how the house looked after the characters moved in mm. and <laughs> and maliciously rearranged the ghost environment. Like I I felt bad for the the couple in the movie, you know, because oh, they're ghosts and then they they don't want their house being taken over, and then it ends up being completely against. <laughs> You know, their house is totally rearranged. Um, so I did feel bad for them. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm loving this weird, bizarre, but yet whimsical stuff, you know. And so I actually, I, I loved that. And I, I just, there was a part of me that just absolutely loved it and loved that type of art. Um, so as far as like sculpting goes, it, it's that type of stuff. Mm. Um, but yeah, I have, I have an Etsy Etsy shop, um, Surplus Arts, um, where I have some of that on display that, you know, if people find interesting, they can, they can buy, um, photography, you know, to various shots. And I'm, and I'm also constantly looking for, um, new stuff to, to put on. Mm. Um, and then, you know, if somebody wants something specifically made that they want to buy, you know, I just say, Hey, send, send me like a drawing or something and I'll, mm. I'll make it up you know and um but yeah and but yeah as far as yeah i like to randomly sculpt and make little little props you know mm. from from movies um it's you almost, know, like like willy wonka it's almost know. cosplay like in a way but the prop part. it's yeah 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 um well the, a lot of the stuff that i that i have made or or in the process of making was because of cosplay mm. um That's like awesome. one yeah like i i had dressed up as the one character otho from beetlejuice um but i'm like i, I want to be dinner party otho <laughs> when i had like a fake i had a fake hand and then my real hand was in a shrimp oh, a so shrimp hand that, that i made that came out of a bowl um but i'm pretty much like like i'm, I'm selling that type of stuff in case you know someone wants a random prop you know, homemade sh uh, shrimp hand, you know, <laughs> <laughs> with a, with a zebra zebra stripe napkin, or homemade zebra stripe na napkin, you know. Um, and then I'm trying to get off um, being um, 
the wonky chocolatier because of copyright can't